Hi everybody, welcome back to Be The Reef. My name's Ross. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the Marine Lab multi-test kit from NT Labs. Okay, welcome back. Thanks to all you new subscribers who've joined us recently. Um, hope you're enjoying all the content. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're going to take a look at this Marine Lab multi-test kit. Now, this was sent to me, thank you, to NT Labs. Um, so I'll shout out to NT Labs for sending me that. I'm going to take a quick look at this, um, run through it and see what's what. Now I know a lot of you guys, me included, use Salifert test kits. Um, a lot of you guys use the HANA checkers and so on. This is quite a relatively cheap kit for what it is, but it actually performs really well. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much details because we'll go on and review it in a minute and we'll go through all the steps and show you what's involved. But I just want to give you a kind of quick introduction to it and show you what's what. Okay, so um, both these kits kind of retail for around about the, um, the £30 mark so relatively cheap kits for what you get um, like I say you get 155 tests in this one NH3, NO2, NO3 and pH so um, your ammonia nitrite, nitrate and your pH um, really really good kits, really impressed with them like I say in a second I'll show you actually me going through the kit and what's involved but yeah, I'm going to do this, this will be part one in um, this video with this kit, then we'll do the next kit in part two, so there is two kits available. Um, I'll just quickly sit that back there, and I'll show you the second kit that we've got. Um, so the second kit is this Marine Lab um, Reef Multi-Test Kit, but we'll go into more detail on that in the next video. Um, but there is the two kits available, like I say, both of them are £30 each, so. Yeah, um, so there's no point in hanging about, we'll dive into this and show you exactly what's what. Okay, so we'll take a look at this um, NT Labs Marine Lab Multi Test Kit. So this one, as you can see, like I said there just before, is the um, ammonia, nitrite, nitrate, and pH. So as you can see, I haven't even opened this yet. So it's the first time opening it. So just a little cardboard sleeve that comes off that there. I'll sit that down out of the way. Um, kind of comes quite well packaged actually. Everyone's got so many holder, but we'll cut this open and see what exactly you get inside. That's a horrible noise to upload it. Okay, so there's four little test tubes there that have um, little marks in them. I don't know if you can see like a line around there and a line around there. So I'm going to assume that's for kind of two different levels as such. Um, Got a five mil syringe, a little pipette dropper, instructions which we'll probably need to spend a bit of time reading. This will be some stickers for the test tubes, that's actually a really good idea. So we put some stickers on them, you know what's what. Um, and then here are the bottles. Oh, yeah, so if you see there, um, it shows you that you know the lower line on this is the 5mm mark. Um, I don't know how you, are. you can actually see if the lines on this, but there's two lines in the bottle. So the lower lines are 5mm, upper lines are 10mm. So you can see three different solutions there. One, two for that one and one for the pH. So yeah we'll um we'll get going, we'll try the first couple, see how we got on with this and see how it compares. So I'm gonna do the ammonia one first. Um obviously I shouldn't really have any ammonia in my tank so be interesting to see what this reads. So I'll have a look at the instructions, see what we do and give it a go. Okay so I was just having a look there, um, on the actual back of the cardboard tube is the um, instructions and the colour chart so it's quite handy, you can just keep that with you rather than looking up all the instructions itself. So you know, um, I'll show you this one for the ammonia test here. It's saying um, Add one mil aquarium water, five drops of solution one, five drops of solution two, five drops of solution three, give it a shake, wait for ten minutes and then read. So there are ten minutes on this ammonia one. Um, the nitrite test is two minutes. The nitrate, ten minutes again, 
and the pH is usually just read straight away. Um, so I might actually do the pH one and just see where we're at with this first rather than doing the ammonia one. I think that's what I'll do. Okay, let's do the pH one first since that's the quickest. We'll get that one out of the way. Um, so because these are all 5ml, I'm going to label up the bottles first actually. So I'll, I'll stick all these stickers on the bottles and then I'll come back. Okay, so as you can see, I've stuck the stickers in the bottles here. Um, I actually really like this idea. You know, it kind of keeps everything the right way. I try and always keep mine the same ones, so it makes things a bit easier. Um, right, so like I said, I'm going to do the pH test first and see how this stands up. Um, so it's saying to add 5ml of aquarium water, so I'll we'll do that just now. That's five ml there. And then it says five drops of this pH solution. So I'll give this a bit of shape first, but so this obviously as you can see does between 7.6 um, and 8.8. So we'll get five drops of this in here. So that's five drops of the pH solution in. This is give it a shake a couple of times, so I'll just invert this. And then I believe you read this from the side against the chart to see what we're at. So if I read that on here. I make that about 8.2 I would say I know on the screen it looks maybe a bit more closer to 8 in fact it could be closer to 8 actually on this test so um, yeah we could say that's reading 8 on this for the pH but yeah overall quite a simple test to do um, quite like that one that was easy enough so I'll set that to the side out of the way um, give everyone a clean up afterwards but yeah, that was relatively straightforward. In fact, I've just noticed that this does actually have a little stand here that you can sit them in. So, um, sit that pH one in there. That's been done. I'll just make sure that the lid's on tight on this. Yeah, I'm quite impressed with this kit actually. Um, right, let's do ammonia next. Um, not it's a long wait on this one, but we'll, we'll do it anyway. So let's say and add one mil of aquarium water. So not much in this one. Okay, so that's one mil in there. Let's use the little dropper thing that it comes with. So it says five drops of each of the solution. So I'm going to have five drops of solution one. This is bottle number two. I'll get five drops of that. I think that's maybe a bit too much. I don't know. Kind of came out a bit quick there, but I think that was five drops of that. And then we'll give five drops of this. Okay, so that's five drops in there. And it says do an inversion on this. So I'm just going to invert this a few times and then leave it for 10 minutes. So I'll leave that one for 10 minutes and we'll come back and check the results. 
Okay, so after what felt like an eternity, that's 10 minutes up. So I'll have a look at this here. Um, as you can see, it's a kind of yellow colour, so I'll compare this against the chart. So well, you can see that there, but I'll hold that away. It was definitely more yellow than the kind of greeny colour. So, you know, the next one down there is 0 0.2. Yellow zero, so I reckon there would be zero point one on the ammonia. Um, you know, it's, it could be zero to be fair. I think it's zero point one. I would say so. That's the ammonia test done anyway. Again, not the worst. It does take a bit longer than other tests, but um, overall, not too bad a test actually. So I'll go ahead and do the nitrite test now. Um, so yeah, again, I've already got the stickers on this. So it says add five mil of aquarium water. So I'll do that. That's five mil in there. Then it says add five drops of this solution here. So I'll give this a shake. And then we'll add five drops in here. Okay, that's five drops in that one. I'll put the lid on tight on this. Set that in there. Now, this one, same thing, invert it a few times. And this one you'll only put two minutes for, so that's a bit better. So I'll sit that in there and we'll give that two minutes and we'll come back. Okay, so that's been two minutes now. Um, I'll take this one out of here. don't know if you can see or not, there's a slight tinge to this one, which I'm quite surprised about. But, I'll have a look anyway, so... Yeah, I think according to that, let's say my nitrates are 0 0.5, which... A little bit surprised about it. I wouldn't have thought there were 0 0.5, but um, yeah, that's that's what it's saying for that one. So 0 0.5 on the nitrates for that one. Again, quite a simple one to do, so I'll stick that back in. And then last but not least, the nitrates. So this will be an interesting one to see what the nitrate shows up. Um, like I say, I usually do the salifert test, so we'll see how this compares. Um, I quite like the kit so far anyway, um, just to see how we got on with it. So, the nitrate test, 5ml of water again. There's 5ml of water in there. Um, and then it says shake bottle 1 for 30 seconds. So, I'll shake this for 30 seconds. I'll save you guys the pleasure though, you won't have to watch this, I'll skip this bit. Okay, so that's been 30 seconds um, shaking that bottle. So it says now add six drops in here. Okay, so six drops in there. Remember to put the lid tight on these if you're doing this. Um, Okay, and then six drops of bottle two. Okay. Same thing again, invert this a few times. And then we've been our 10 minute wait on this one. So see again, I'll skip that though, so you guys will have to sit for 10 minutes. Okay, so I'll set that in there and I'll join you in 10 minutes time. Okay, so that's been 10 minutes up on the nitrate test now. Um, as you can see there's a slight bit of colour there, so I'll bring the chart over and we'll have a look. Um, yeah, again, I don't know how these colours show on the camera, um, but for me, that's 
between I would say five and ten, which would be about right. I mean, my nitrates usually run anywhere between five to ten, depending on when I do it. So, um, yeah, I don't think that's too far away with that, actually, to be honest with you. So, overall, quite impressed with this kit. Um, you know, it does take a bit longer the ten minute periods doing the tests, but you know, I really like the fact that the instructions are on the back here like this. So you don't have to go raking about, it's quite simple to do it. Um, you can stand all your tubes up like I say, and everything's in the one box. So yeah, overall I've been quite impressed with that. Um, results are kind of where I would expect them to be as well. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll just um quite happy with that. So the last thing that I'm going to do is just give everything a quick clean out. Um, I had done some tests earlier in the day, so I've got a little glass there that I just pour everything into. Um, so all I do when I'm cleaning these out um, is just pour it in that little glass there. Then I've got this um, squeezy bottle with RODI water in it. So just squeeze some of that in there, give it a little rinse about, and then pour that in there. So you can see that's the... Um, I'll just get the lid of this, just a little clean as well because there's some in the lid there that I noticed. And yeah, it's as simple as that. So we'll, we'll do that for all these, get them all cleaned out and um, get everything packaged away. But like I say, quite impressed with that. Okay, so that's everything cleaned up. Um, and it's simply just a case of taking this slip again. Sliding that over there. And that's it. That's the Marine Lab multi test kit. Um, like I say, this is the first four ammonia nitrate, um, nitrite, and the pH. So the second part will be um, obviously the other four, which does your um, alkalinity, magnesium, calcium, and phosphate. So we'll do that one as part two. Yes, there we have it. Thank you very much for. Um, Staying. If you've stayed to this point in the video, then you've done well, so thank you. Really appreciate everyone who's watched the videos up until now. Um, welcome, like I say, all the new subscribers. So yeah, really happy with the, the Marine Lab test kit. Um, it stood up pretty well, test actually, compared to like some of my and so on. So yeah, like I say, you're, you're only £30 for that kit. You can actually find it cheaper um, if you have a look about, but £30 seems to be the going rate for it. So it's not an expensive kit. Um, and yeah, I would highly recommend it. So if you are on a budget looking to start out, brilliant kit. This is the one that I would I would recommend to go for. So yeah, um, once again, massive thanks to NT Labs for sending me the kits. And hopefully you guys will enjoy them too. Uh, if you have any questions or comments on the kit, leave them in the, in the description below and I'll get back to you on them. Um, if you haven't already, if you could subscribe to the channel, really would appreciate that. I know I harp on about it, but it does mean a lot if you could subscribe. And um, yeah, if you leave a thumbs up or a, a dislike even if you don't like the video. So thanks very much for watching guys. Hope you're staying safe out there. Um, like I say, my name's Ross, it's Bearded Reef Channel. So if you haven't checked out my other videos, if you could check them out, that'd be great. And thank you. So take care everyone. Bye bye.